As soon as I powered on Bocano Camp Joe, a wave of familiarity washed over me. I'd seen this before, not this game in particular, mind, this is the first time I'd ever played it, but soon things fell right into place. You inherit a campsite from your dad and have to make it profitable again by maintaining the grounds, eating well, and installing various facilities. When you have a pet, you're a choice of a cat or dog who really serves no purpose other than to look cute. Add a couple cows and some agriculture and you've effectively got Harvest Moon, right? It's almost exactly the same setup, the same idea, only this game feels a bit more... simmy. Is simmy a word? I think it should be. That's it, I've decided simmy is a word, and Bocano Camp Joe is so simmy it might as well be called Harvest Sim Campsite. I'm gonna tell Felicity in Worcestershire that's this game's new name. See if I don't. I guess I've kind of laid out the idea already. It's a campsite, and you're trying to fix it up so as to attract the most guests and their cash by clearing rubble, planting grass and flowers, installing various facilities like toilets and showers, and then getting out there and schmoozing with the guests once they've arrived. The primary method of construction involves this menu, which details all of the camp accoutrements you have available, as well as their cost, though you don't actually get to see how much cash you have at the time, which strikes me as being ridiculous. Once you've selected a toilet or vending machine or grass seed or the like, it's just a matter of lining up the shaded boxes with your desired location and confirming that construction project. Of course, building buildings takes time, so it'll be a little while until said facility is available to your guests. Until then, you can schmooze and stare longingly at their piping hot grills full of red blobs one must presume are some sort of meat product. In the standard Harvest Moon style, though, there are a number of tools to equip for the purpose of clearing chunks of the campsite of superfluous trees and rocks, all kept in a very familiar-looking shed next to the house. Yeah, kind of horrifyingly derivative, I know. It might play very close to the standard Sim playbook of make improvements, spend cash, wait a chunk of time, regain cash, make improvements, spend cash, ad nauseum, but at least it's a new idea in that particular sphere that I don't recall ever seeing before. I've built cities, I've built theme parks, I've even built Las Vegas resorts. The campsites are new, and I can't recall in any of those other games anyone ever pulling out a telescope and stargazing at 7pm or so. Strikes me as kind of odd, but it looks, sounds, and controls well enough, and contains new and interesting vocabulary in case you find yourself camping in Japan. Maybe I just need a vacation. If only the out-of-doors didn't have, you know, allergens, and bears, and bears wielding pollen. <laughs> 